What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We've got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir, last we were in a boat, we had just started a story. What did you want to tell me about the long war? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are... Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. Now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads.
one become a dragon, Mimir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. You've never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. He must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. No lad, a lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. Here you 
go, you wee little bugger. Vee -vee. Well, the dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Roy, over here. Interesting. before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. even a chance. Don't you want to see mom again? Of course I. She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. 